Good afternoon, everyone. Record snow yet again. The ski season was opening early in Colorado. We'll see how late it stays open this year because Colorado snowpack so juiced they had to redo the scale. We saw the same thing with Northern Hemisphere snowfall this and last year. Taking a look, Polar Portal, surface melt on Greenland. Glaciers are recovering. New NASA study shows it right on time for the grand solar minimum. Do you think they're connected? Greenland stops melting. Glaciers grow. We're entering the grand solar minimum. It's intensifying. Yet the corporate media still doesn't want to touch this with a 10-foot pole. You are on your own, absolutely. Please remember to visit our sponsors, My Patriot Supply. Your purchase helps keep ADAPT 2030 on air and independent so I can continue to bring you information just like this as well as trueleafmarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet. The links are in the description box below, as well as all the links to tonight's video. Starting off here on Twitter, Stephen Goddard. This media may contain sensitive materials yet again. How many times in Stephen Goddard's feed have we seen this? And I thought, well, it's got to be some gory... Oh, wait. It's temperature anomalies from 1980 to 2018 showing the pause is still here. If you have an open mind and you're looking for reasons that our cataclysmic weather continues to amplify year after year, this is an inconvenient chart they don't want you to see because you might start asking why are the global temperatures not rising as the IPCC said they would. Ice jams still in the rivers Midwest where the massive floods have ruined and destroyed 38% of all stored grains in America. The floods still continue, overtopping levees in Missouri this time, and this is the biggest flood ever recorded in the history of the United States going down the Mississippi. The rest of the grains stored, I hope they're moving it, because if they don't, it is gone, and that 38% is going to be somewhere around 50% over the next three weeks. I pulled this one back in February 3rd. It's been in my box, and I was trying to figure out how to use this, because it talks about... Record snow opening Colorado's ski season, earliest ever recorded. And I thought, well, California last year had the latest ever recorded skiing all the way into late July, first week of August. So I thought, all right, Wolf Creek ski area, let's take a look at how much avalanche danger there is due to the all-time record snows over Colorado this year. Now, with all the interstate closures of the Bumble Genesis, in these red areas here, this is where even more additional record snows came that now have an avalanche danger. And when I say that avalanche danger and all-time record snows, so much snow that they actually needed to redo the scale of how much snow has fallen this season. You can see that trajectory upward. The blue is where we are, 2018-19 winter. Notice the yellow with exceptional snowfalls as well. That was 2017-18 winter. Do you think it's getting snowier and wetter in Colorado? I think it's getting wetter in so many places, especially the desert southwest, Sierra Nevada mountains, Colorado, and we're just seeing an extremely wet U.S. And this is going to continue as the grand solar minimum intensifies. And I thought, well, U.S. might be just one single spot in the northern hemisphere. Lo and behold, Finnish Meteorological Institute, that red is the above average snowfall for the northern hemisphere 2018-19 but you know what it looked exactly like that last year as well 2017-18 smashing through that 1982 to 2012 average and it did the same exact thing last year but nobody's trying to equate this with grand solar minimum intensification they're trying to feed you that the oceans are warming but the atlantic multi-decadal oscillations going into its cool phase on the 60-year cycle, so that at least takes away part of the northern hemispheric heating. And speaking of the all-time record snows in Sierra Nevada mountains, even more snow has fallen. They've actually eclipsed last year's all-time record this year yet again. An extra four feet during the March 5th, 6th, and 7th event. I want to bring right over here to Greenland, because everybody's talking about Greenland melting, Greenland melting. The chart above is this year, 2018-19. Now that black line right in the center that you see there at the zero mark where it says mass loss, anything above it means gains, anything below it means losses. Now obviously during the melt season it's going to lose some ice, but you can see throughout the rest of the year it stays steady. Now if we drop down to the chart 2012 and 13, you can see with the orange arrow that I included how low and how gargantuan the ice loss was at that time. 
But as you can clearly see, it's not losing nearly as much ice. And the IPCC and its complicit corporate media minions keep talking about Greenland ice. Oh wait, is this NASA? New study finding melting Greenland glacier once the poster boy for global warming is growing again. This is from NASA. Area on the left in that orange box, central west Greenland, Jakobshavn Glacier. It used to be the single largest source for mass loss from Greenland over the last 20 years. But you know what? It ceased and now it's growing again. Why not here for you to take a look at the exact location? Now for me, it is startling and beyond comprehension that we are heading into this grand solar minimum. All these changes that are happening that we're not supposed to change because of carbon dioxide and nobody wants to talk about it. Our food supply has been washed away in the United States. We're not going to be able to grow to even refill what was lost this year due to the excessively poor planting conditions. Prices are rising. Other countries are experiencing the same thing. We're going to have to get on a massive project to think about solutions, bringing agriculture indoor. And they still want to talk about you as a polluter with CO2 instead of addressing the sun being the driver of our climate. It's more like the corporate media is deflecting you from the true information of why these changes are happening to keep you unprepared. The reasons for that, that's your own to conclude. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Look for the Wikipedia entry under this video for sure because I dispute Greenland ice melt and I dispute carbon dioxide is the main driver for our climate. I say it is the sun and we are heading back into a 400 year cycle. Please visit our sponsors, My Patriot Supply. Every purchase keeps this channel Adapt 2030 on air and independent so I can have my own thoughts, opinions, and ideas to deliver to you as well as it is the planting season right now. You're going to have to learn how to grow food anyway. Trueleafmarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on the planet. They have guides on how to grow, guides on how to sprout. Everything's free on those publications inside their site. And all these links are in the description box below this video.